Hello, everyone. My name is Leah Jin and Tony Paul, and I'm willing in here to join you for IoT Day and to discuss prompt engineering, as well as to give you some examples and a demonstration of generating images from prompts using AI. I was born and raised in northern New Jersey. I graduated from Stockton University in South Jersey in 2020 with degrees in writing, communications, and digital literacy. In college, I helped train machine learning models by describing the contents of images through text and voice commands. Today, I use Midjourney to create a wide variety of images in order to express myself artistically. I'm excited about the emergence of AI technology and committed to using it to make the world a more beautiful and happy place, starting with increased accessibility. I've seen firsthand how powerful AI technology has become recently, and I recognize serious potential for a hugely positive impact on humanity, as long as we are careful and ethical about its development. Today, I have the exciting privilege of being a prompt engineer and telling you what that means. So let's start with the basics. First, we have to understand what a prompt is. So then what is a prompt? Well. A prompt is simply an input to a system that uses an AI model to deliver a corresponding output. The input can be a phrase, a single word, or even just one letter. It can really be any form of data that's accepted as input by an AI model. AI prompts are designed to provide context and direction to the AI system, allowing it to understand what the user wants and generate a relevant response. AI prompts can be used in a variety of applications, including generating text, generating images, images, speech recognition, and much more. Prompt engineering is the art and science of crafting high quality prompts that can guide AI models to generate outputs that are accurate, helpful, and ethical. Imagine an output, be it a picture or a block of text, Prompt engineering is the process of refining your input in order to get an AI model to deliver that result, or maybe even one that's better in surprising ways. You can do this using words rather than code, which is creating new opportunities for accessibility in tech work. Generative AI outputs consist largely of text and images at the moment, but there are some models that can output video and audio content. As the technology advances, there might be all types of AI outputs. By developing prompt engineering skills, we can unlock the full potential of generative AI models to help us understand complex problems, communicate more effectively, get work done more efficiently, and even, in my favorite use case, push the boundaries of art and literature. Prompt engineering is quickly becoming a more nuanced field, with more use cases being discovered daily. As a prompt engineer, I have a responsibility to ensure that the AI outputs I use are indeed utilized for purposes that are fair, inclusive, and respectful of different perspectives and identities. To all the women, girls, and femme-oriented people out there who are interested in prompt engineering, I say go for it. There are countless use cases in fields like art, business, and more. AI is an exciting and rapidly growing facet of technology that needs your talent, creativity, and vision. Together, we can create a world where AI models are guided towards generating outputs that are accurate, inclusive, and empowering for all. So seriously, whether you're interested in coding, linguistics, or communication, there's a place for you in prompt engineering. Personally, I was always a creative person. Ever since I was in elementary school, I've enjoyed writing. I love technology, but coding was really difficult for me. Now, in the field of prompt engineering, I can use my linguistic skills to interact with computers in new and exciting ways. You don't need a fancy computer science degree to write prompts, which makes prompt engineering a relatively accessible new career field. I'm so excited to see where this field goes and to continue developing my career as a prompt engineer. So now that I've given a basic introduction, I thought it might be helpful if I give a demonstration on prompt engineering. I'm gonna switch over to my PowerPoint. Before we begin, I'd like to share with you a few of the pieces that I am most proud of. I am incredibly grateful that AI technology has given me ways to express myself like never before. For years and years, I have had all of these ideas inside of me, and I was unable to share them with the world. 
and now that I finally can, people actually really like them. It's surreal. I just broke 6,000 followers on Twitter in under 6 months, and it just blows me away that I can reach so many people with my works. I'm beyond honored by some of the comments that I get on my pieces. I love the AI art community, and I'm eager to share some of my prompting technique with the world. The AI art generator that I use is called Midjourney. Although there is a monthly fee involved, I choose to use Midjourney because it is the best option for me. The consensus in the online AI art community has been that Midjourney is king for some months now, even before the extremely impressive latest update called V5 came out. The photorealism and competence in Midjourney V5 generations is quite arguably completely unmatched. I am blown away time and time again how much a simple prompt can deliver such a stunning output, as you'll see. Unfortunately, due to misuse and misinformation, Midjourney has recently discontinued its free trial. As someone who believes in democratization of resources and accessibility for all, this deeply saddens me. I would one day like to see a world where everyone who wants to try the best AI image generation technology can freely do so, regardless of their income. There are, however, some other popular and still rather powerful image generators that have free options, such as Stable Diffusion or Night Cafe. A lot of my friends on Twitter who successfully sell their AI art use programs like these, so don't feel like you can't benefit from generative AI art technology just because you can't afford the Midjourney monthly subscription. Without further ado, allow me to share with you a little bit of my process. I hope that this can potentially be helpful and inspiring to anyone who might be interested in trying to make AI art. I want to show you guys this first example because it's a perfect example of how such a simple clever phrase as a prompt can deliver an excellent output. After I posted it, people in my Twitter comments were saying that it could be used as a promotional material for a smoking prevention campaign, and I honestly can't disagree. See, I didn't even prompt for the windpipe to look like a cigarette. The prompt was simply the phrase nicotine lungs. My friend Emma gave me the idea of using it as a prompt in mid-journey. So these are the images that I got, and I could have tried again, but I was actually really happy with the fourth one. So I clicked on the U4 button, which is short for Upscale Image 4, in order to request an enlarged and enhanced version of the generation in the lower right corner. Right away, I was happy with what I got. All that I did before posting this to Twitter was use Photoshop to turn up the saturation a little bit. I chose to include this next example in my demonstrations because it shows how you can prompt AI systems in conjunction to get incredible results. Here, I inputted a text prompt into ChatGPT. I gave it a list of ideas that I've had in the past. And I asked it to generate similar ones. When ChatGPT gave me a result that wasn't what I wanted, I had to amend my prompt by being more specific. Give me phrases instead of a list. After that, ChatGPT had my back. Next, I asked ChatGPT for even more ideas with this prompt. Give me more ideas that are abstract and involve bold, vibrant, and artistic elements. Here's an idea. The endless web of rainbow mirrors. I need more stuff like that. Try for uniqueness. So I really liked one of these phrases, so I just went ahead and got to work with the phrase a garden of floating luminescent orbs in mid-journey. Here I liked the first image the best out of the four that it gave me. I thought it would look even cooler with some extra flair. So I pressed V1, which allowed me to variate the first image by altering the prompt, and I added the descriptors, 1980s computer graphics, vibrant colors. I really liked the first image here, so that's the one I chose to upscale. And then I really liked how it looked again, so I posted it. So I've switched over to Midjourney, and now I want to demonstrate this last prompt for you, because it's a great example of an idea that was in my head that I'm only able to communicate to the world so efficiently because of AI. 
So first, I type slash imagine, because that is the Discord command to get started in mid-journey. And then I'm going to start typing my prompt out. So I've got point of view POV of a hiker in the middle of a tunnel that is a giant mosaic of stained glass, comma, all of the colors of the rainbow, comma, crystalline, comma, vivid colors, comma, vibrant colors, comma, the light is shining. As the pictures come into view here, I just want to reflect on how descriptive writing ability comes into play while you're crafting prompts. I love the way that creativity and technology are now so intimately and uniquely intertwined. Alright, you can see here that the generations have finished. And alright, this is actually really awesome. Um, I think my favorite would be the first one. I really like how the tunnel is like circular and the stained glass is all over. So I'm going to press upscale and see how it goes. And it looks like that came out really nicely, so I'll be saving that. That was our final example. So thank you for watching, and thank you for listening. Also, a big thank you to Suda for this amazing opportunity. I feel so blessed to be here among so many incredible women. This is such an exciting time to explore the field of AI, and I can't wait to keep creating and learning. Happy IoT Day to everyone watching. I encourage you to embrace your creativity and give prompt engineering and AI image generation a try.